What's up guys, Chaz Giovanni here, back with another video. Um, this time it's gonna be about a life update. Woo, life update. A lot's been going on. Uh, I took a leap of faith, I quit my job. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was very hesitant to tell my parents that I quit my job because I didn't want them to think Oh, what is he doing? Is he does he have a backup plan or does he have any work lined up or does he have this that going on? I do. I actually have things in place and I also have a support system, <laughs> my wife, who helps me when it comes to anything freelance or business related. Um, if I didn't have that support system, taking a leap would have been a lot scarier. Uh, because I would have let, you know, X, Y, and Z get in my head and kind of stop me from pursuing what it is that I truly want to do. So I could have had any and every single reason not to take the leap, but I chose not to listen to those reasons and it's a lot easier said than done. So deciding to take this leap, deciding to quit my job, and also having an opportunity of a lifetime, which is something that I've been waiting on since I've started my photography career. That one thing is the opportunity to be able to fly out of state. I haven't gotten to out of country yet, that's coming. But to be able to fly out of state and do photography. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's so much more to the story, and I really want to just give you guys a sneak peek as to what really went down when I went to LA. It was a magical experience, and I just, I just got to show it to you. Check this out. All right, so finally settled into the hotel. It took. So long. We got here at like 10. It is now 2.22. <sighs> but the room is nice. This, you get all on, move it all off, service, privacy. These are different light settings. Closet. Bathroom. Stand-up shower. Bathtub. Yes, that's your boy. Toilet. Water closet. So, TV over here, bed over here, California journey, you know. You know the vibes, you know the vibes. Chase over here, chair and this view. Man, when I tell you I'm gonna enjoy this, I'm gonna enjoy it. Yes, sir. Now, of course, everything wasn't all play. It was definitely more work than play. But, you know, while I was out there, even though I was working, a good 95% of the time because <laughs> it is a work trip. That's what I was paid to go out there for. Um, man, I just had a great time because there were cool people that I met while I was doing headshots. I got to really, really fine tune my, my directiveness. I was able to direct people on how to pose and get those headshots just right. Once we finished for the day, we'd all take a much needed break then meet up a couple hours later for dinner. Afterwards, since we're all pretty much tired and jet lagged, everyone kind of parted ways. But I had to see what the rooftop was like at night. It's absolutely stunning. These pictures do it no justice, I promise. <laughs> All right, day two of the LA trip. The views from the hotel in the morning, immaculate. It's so nice. Look at that. All right, so day two and three were filled with, of course, work, work, and work. There was a lot of different things going on each day. The views were amazing. The food was great. Um, I was able to get room service in the rooms and just experience everything for what it was. And the hand-drawn artwork that you see on this board, it took her all week to get it done, but it came out amazing. 
All right, so moving on to the self-guided tour that we took ourselves on on these uh, great old lift scooters. That's Chase, my assistant. Gotta love the palm trees. And you know I had to get my own little photo op in. I had to have my moment. <laughs> Look at this, it's just gorgeous. And this is just a street in Beverly Hills. And the crazy thing is, it's in a neighborhood. Now back to our regular schedule programming. Now I look forward to the days where I'm actually doing films or videos or commercial videos or things of that nature, you know, out of state, out of the country, but that's coming. It's a process. I've been shooting, I'd say pretty much my, you know, I don't want to say my entire life because I feel like it's kind of cliche, but um, I started taking it more seriously in college. And that's when I kind of had the idea of wanting to start my own business in photography. Um, since then, I had wanted this opportunity where I could take my business outside of the borders of Georgia. <laughs> and I know that sounds kind of silly, but I, to me in my head, I felt as though if I get booked, if I can get a client to book me out of state, or even out of the country, I feel like I kind of made it. I don't know that's, you know, that's not necessarily the stopping point, but that was a, that was really a big goal for me. It was a major goal for me. So once I finally got that opportunity, I couldn't pass it up. And there were a few things in the way preventing me from really easily saying yes, right in the moment of being presented the opportunity. It came with its, you know, it came with its, its things that kind of slowed me down and had me second guessing, can I even do this? You know, that's life, it happens. We have a lot of things that come at us, like opportunities, and out of nowhere, something will try to sway you and make you feel like, or feel as though you cannot, you cannot take the opportunity. So my situation was, <laughs> was working at Warner Media, doing security overnight. I do not, I'm not a night owl. I don't like staying up overnight. I cannot, I, I refuse. I prefer not to do it. I more so rather do things in the daylight. I, you know, I prefer daylight. I don't like doing things at night. That's not my thing. So I've only worked one other job where I worked overnight and that was Walmart. And that was when I was stocking inventory. Walmart, no. Just now. <laughs> so, working Warner Media overnight wasn't a hard job at all. It wasn't a hard job. Um, I will say it was fairly easy for the amount of money that I was getting paid at the time. Um, I was getting paid 18 an hour, and then you add on the, uh, the night differential, so it was like 1980, something like that. <laughs> we got some people walking in. But yeah, so I was making about like 1980 and it just wasn't enough. I felt so limited because I had a glass ceiling that was kind of preventing me from being able to make the money that I want to make, do the things that I want to do and just live life. It was hard. Um, so I got the opportunity to go to LA and do some headshots and also photograph an event as well. When I tell you that, when I got that opportunity, I was so excited about it. I just did not know how to, I didn't really know how to 100% say yes in that moment because I tried to get the time off in my job, it wasn't working. Um, I even asked them a month in advance, which they require for me to ask a month in advance to get the time off and they still wouldn't let me do it. So I had to make a decision. 
Either I keep working this job, miss out on this opportunity to go to LA and do what I love, and finally check off one of those goals that I have wanted to check off, I guess on my bucket list, if you will. I almost missed that opportunity because I was having the doubt and the fear of, okay, if I, if I go ahead and make this decision, right, and I quit my job, how will I be able to pay my bills? How will I be able to survive? That's the first thing that goes through your mind as an adult, as a freelancer, as a creative. How can I still pay my bills and still do my, and still follow my passion, still do what I love? So, luckily, this is a well-paying job out of Nella. I'm not gonna get into the exact figures, but it's pretty good. It's pretty, it's, it's nice. So it was enough for me to feel confident in taking that leap. And I'm not necessarily saying you should take the leap just because of money, but me taking the leap and getting this opportunity and taking advantage of the opportunity and seizing the moment, it actually opened some doors for me. So yeah, freelance is up and down, you know, it's a roller coaster, you know, you have your moments where you don't get any calls, don't get any clients then out of nowhere, you'll get some. That's how it happens, it's crazy. So I decided to go ahead and take the opportunity, flew out to LA and made the best of it. And you know, I had a little situation right before I actually went out to LA where um, it was a few days before I quit my job. Um, I was having some issues with my heart and I think it was because of a perpetual lack of sleep because trying to do things during the day, working overnight, doesn't really work out too well. So I had to find, I, I really had to make a decision. Am I going to go ahead and keep working this job or am I going to affect, letting it affect my health? and? prolonging my dreams or am I gonna just take this opportunity that I got to go to LA and just make the best of it? So I had to make a decision. <laughs> and the day that I had that issue with my heart, it was uh, it was bad enough for me to go to the hospital. I'm okay now. And it turns out everything was just fine by the time I got to the hospital. But before that situation happened, I asked God, is there like, can you give me an answer, God, on whether I should go to LA and take this opportunity or whether I should stay at this job? And <laughs> it's funny that I feel like that was God's way of saying, the time is up, go ahead and pursue your dream, pursue your passion, and I'll take it from here. And having that faith and just trusting God is what has gotten me to this point that I'm at now. And it's exciting. It's a little scary, not gonna lie, but it's very exciting. And the freedom that you get from taking a leap is nothing like it. So I will say um, from that opportunity, it was a very big learning experience uh, just to trust God because when I got out to LA, everything just magically fell into place. Didn't have to pay for the plane ticket. I, got, I was able to change my seats at the last minute and get the seats that I wanted. Uh, didn't have to pay for my equipment to go out there, which I brought a lot of equipment. I brought basically all my studio gear. Um, room service was free. Uber was free. Food out there was free except for when I had to, you know, when I went out and bought food on my own, of course I paid for that. Only thing I really paid for was like a $70 scooter ride. Now, this is a Lyft scooter that I used to ride basically 20 miles around downtown and I had my assistant with me and we made the best of it because we didn't want to take an Uber because that would have been more expensive going from place to place to place. So we just literally got a self tour, went around, just rode on the scooters and made the best of it. So, yeah, um, this is a win-win. And then I got to experience, you know, the, inter the what is it, the Intercontinental Hotel in LA, downtown LA. It's nice. 
stayed on the 34th floor and there's like 73 floors. 73 is like the rooftop lounge bar area. It's a really nice spot. It's really nice. $400 a night nice. Yeah. <laughs> so I made the best of that opportunity and now I'm full-time freelance. I have work lined up. Um, and I also have more free time to make videos, create content, and just literally do what I love. It's the most liberating feeling ever to be able to do this. And it's a blessing. And it's all from trusting God. So that's a little bit of update about what's been going on with my life. There's a lot more videos to come, whether, whether it be get out and explore or hey, hope this helps. There's gonna be a lot more TikTok content coming, a lot more opportunities and a lot more content in general coming. So stay tuned, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. Love you guys. Peace.